Hi everybody, I'm John Paulette from JohnPaulette.com going through the 10 easy steps to build a profitable web business program. Now on this video I'm going to show you how to change a WordPress theme. First of all we've got to find a theme. So if we go into Google, and I will admit I have done a lot of this earlier, um, put in what I'm looking for, a WordPress theme plus AdSense, an environmental theme that's an organic website and a two column. If I search Google, I find which one I want straight away. You won't. This took me about half an hour of searching through um, some different sites to find a, a free WordPress theme that I really liked. So click on the theme. There are some fantastic uh, free themes out there. This, these guys, headsetsoptions.org, have got some great themes. Now, I like this one because of its plain and simple look. I didn't particularly like the blue background, but it says here that I can change images to black, red, green, whatever. So I'm going to have a look at this one, go for this one. So I download it, um, save it to file, okay, and it's already in there, I, because I've done this already, but I'll save it. Yes, we close there, and that's done. Then I'll go to my folder. Now you all should have um, downloaded WinZip by now. I'll just show you how this works. It's interesting, it's not opening properly. I'll go to websites. These things are sent to triers. This is about the third time I've done this video. Close that. Open. Uh, sorry. So I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> I think it's because I had two versions open on my organic okay, website. Okay. Now, let me just quickly delete that and show you how to, once you've got a zip file, this is how you open it. If you right click on it and then click extract here, that will open and drop it in there. So we can close that up, close that up, close that up, and I can close that now. So what we need to do you now is go to our FTP server. Now most people, you can use the free one, Smart. I like the Ipswich uh, professional one. I just tend to have quite a few problems with Smart. I don't know why, but on the whole it's quite good and usually works. So we open this and then we find our Melmac folder. So we want to go into the public HTML folder. Then we want to go into WP content. Double clicking on them will usually work. I don't know why it's not working for me. And then you see the classic and default. Now if we go back to our site, this was the old um, default theme that they have on there. So with this I click on my folder and click to upload it. Now it's quite a small site so it should only take um, a second or two. Ah, oh, there we go, busy. Didn't click hard enough. Like I can search it, only take a second or two. 
Um, please bear with me because, like I say, it's about the third time I've tried to do this video. And I don't want to start all over again. And there we go. And that's in my content and themes folder now. So if I close this down and go to my admin area of the website, and log in. I've already logged in. Then we click on design. And it shows the current theme there and the available themes. We've got the new one I loaded in, or the classic, or the default. So if I click on the classic, uh, our new one, Nell Mac, and then click up here to click activate. New themes activated, so if now I go and visit the site, back to organicswebsite.com, you'll see that it has a new theme up there, and that's all there is to it. It's got um, Google Ads down one side, ability to put banners in. Now what I'm going to do next, on the next video, is show you how to configure your WordPress for SEO optimization and to make it look uh, as good as possible. So, see you in the next video. Bye for now.